Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. And welcome to What's Poppin'. As always, I'm your host, Seth. Today I'm going to be taking you through this week in Funko News. Going to be popping off for you guys once again, and then also taking you through my pickups of the week. So stay tuned. And welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it and take you through this week in Funko. So this past Friday, we had the last of the Funko Friday Target exclusives, which were Toxic Rick and Toxic Morty. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning to make sure that I secured these because I had a feeling that they were going to sell out. And you know what? They did. They went real fast. Um, I believe they sold out within the hour um, and p some people were even getting their, um, their orders canceled because I guess, uh, they got in too late and, you know, they over, they oversold. So I feel bad for those people. As far as me, I was able to secure mine. So I'm really happy about these. I'm able to add these to my collection. Um, I love the fact that they were glow in the dark, really cool. And I also liked that episode too, when they did the whole, uh, detox episode, which was really, uh, really cool. So moving on, we got our first look at the Target exclusive Thanos 10-inch from the Infinity War movie series. Really cool. Um, again, I really like it where he's, you know, in more of the armor and, you know, not so much his head is just kind of bald like that because, again, he looks like one of the, uh, like a shrewd, like a shriveled up prune or uh, one of the California raisins. So, again, really cool pop. Um, again, you know... I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I'm going to get it because it's a 10-inch pop, just like the uh, the 10-inch Hulk that I have, which was uh, really cool that came out for Ragnarok. Um, the only thing that really would have set this thing off, in my opinion, is if the Infinity Gauntlet itself was uh, glow-in-the-dark. That would have been uh, really cool. So we also got another 10-inch pop that's going to be coming out. It's Porg. <laughs> Woo! So everybody that liked uh, The Last Jedi got their first, uh, their taste of Porg, which Chewie tried to eat the Porg, but then again, uh, he failed because they made him feel guilty about it. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be 10 inch tall. i um, going to be interested how this one, you know, how, how well this one's received. Um, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to pass because I got out of collecting the Star Wars. So, um, you know, but again, I really like when they do the 10 inch ones. It's really cool. Um, you know, it's a bigger, it's a bigger piece of display. So I think that's really neat for, you know, people who actually like to display them. Still continuing on with Star Wars. Uh, we've got a Walmart exclusive, uh, Luke Skywalker and X-Wing, uh, pop ride. Uh, really cool piece. This is almost kind of like the, um, the Poe Dameron one that they had in the, uh, Star Wars, uh, Smuggler's Bounty Box. Um, I think, I believe it was a month or two ago. Um... Also goes along with the Wedge and Tilly's one that came out. It's going to be Walmart exclusive. Um, I believe the link should be going live sometime soon. Um, I don't know if this one's going to be an online only or they'll have it in the store too. But, you know, uh, as everybody that purchases Pops, just like me, we all know what it's like to try to get stuff from Walmart. So, uh, good luck with that. This past Tuesday, uh, Funko did a um, another pop-up shop exclusive, which was the uh, Kurt Cobain uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit, um, except the, the only differences between the regular one and this one is that this one he's had uh, glasses on. Um, this one didn't sell out. It's still up on the uh, website for order, so I'll leave the link below for you guys to check that out. Um, again, um, this, isn't, this isn't the type of ones that I collect. But uh, it is it is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's Kurt Cobain. So, again, it's, you know, nostalgia from people from the 90s. Also, you know, people who like, uh, you know, music and, you know, music memorabilia and stuff like that. So this is kind of in their wheelhouse. Now, Wednesday, we also had our normal pop-up shop item this week was Pisces Freddy Funko. So this goes along with the whole, um, you know... Uh, uh, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? It goes with the whole um, astrology, uh, you know, astrology with all the um, the signs and everything like that that they do. So they're just going along down the month. So now they came out with uh, Pisces. Um, it's kind of cool. I like the detail in the fishbowl that's got the two fish, which is kind of neat. 
Um, yeah, not, you know, not my whole, uh, you know, not my whole cup of tea, so I kind of, I kind of passed on this one. This one was a definitely a must-have, and I'm really glad that I was able to get this one. This is the glow-in-the-dark Black Panther. I just love the way the blue and the silver and the black, it just looks awesome. This did go live on Walmart's website, but it did sell out really quick. Um, I'm very thankful that on Friday, Funko put this up on their website so you can actually order it. So I was able to secure this. Um, I can't wait for it to come in. I can't wait to see what I, I've already had pictures of, well, I've already seen pictures of what it looks like uh, when it glows in the dark. But again, really cool piece. I love the colors on this. It really stands out. It's really neat. Also to go along with this, um, Target is getting the glow-in-the-dark Eric Killamonger in his panther suit, which is cool. Um, again, with the yellow and the gold and everything, those colors just really stand out. It's really cool. Um, I believe in the next slide, which I do have right now, is what you look like when they glow in the dark. I mean, both of these just look amazing glowing in the dark. It is so cool. Um, I'm going to try. Hopefully, I can get my hands on the uh, Eric Killamonger, but I'm definitely glad I was able to get the get the Black Panther one. It's super cool pieces. That wraps up this week in Funko News. Um, it's kind of a short week, but we're getting ready this Thursday for the uh, Emerald City Comic Con. So I'm sure everybody's going to be getting ready. Um, I'm still trying to find out what stores are getting which ones. So um, whatever I find, I'll post below so you guys can uh, find out if you want to go along with me. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and move on to my next favorite segment, which is everybody, which I'm getting good feedback on, which is everybody's new favorite segment, Pop Off. Unleash the fury! So this week I will be popping off about the United States Postal Service. So want a waffle. It was supposed to come in on Thursday, um, and it didn't. And then I checked again on Friday, and again, it didn't come in. So this was what was supposed to be here, so I could show you guys. Because I won this in a waffle, still waiting for it to come in. But instead, I go ahead and I see this. So I would like to know why it went from where the guy shipped it from, Alabama, to West Palm Beach where I had it sent to, and then for some reason it decided to make its way 40 minutes south all the way down to Opelaka. So now it has to come all the way back down, come up from Miami, back up to West Palm Beach to me? I mean, come on, post office, give me a break. You guys lose our shit all the time, you get us frustrated, and then when we call you for support, you know what you do? Oh, well, we can only see what's on the screen. We're in the 2010s already. We're almost in the 2020s. You're telling me with all the advanced technology out there, you guys can't have a better way of tracking our packages so we can find out? I mean, come on. I mean, UPS and FedEx already have GPS tracking on the vans so they can tell where something is. I mean, give me a break already, will you? I mean, I'm tired of listening to your excuses. I'm tired of listening to that. I'm tired of listening to this. Fix it. You're government funded. You are a government function. You have all the limited funding in the world. I don't care what anybody says. Fix it and get with the times. And then, what do I have to say about that? I've got to say this. And hell, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, God! And that's how I feel about that. So, post office, get it together. You know, please... Help us out, help us collectors out. So with that being said, we're going to move on now to my pickups of the week. So my first pickup of the week was someone that I traded with in the uh, What's Popping Facebook group. Um, I traded him uh, two Tron Chase. I traded him a Tron Chase and a, and a Sark Chase for the uh, Pennywise Chase. Um, I'm not really into the horror ones, but um, I kind of like this one. I like the detail on it. I think it's really neat. It's really cool. So I decided I wanted to add this one to my collection. So, uh, Will, thanks for the trade, man. I, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, moving on, I got last week's um, Funko Friday exclusive, which was the, uh, the Black Panther. Um, again, really cool pop. Really enjoyed this. Um, this one was a throwback to the 60s and 70s comic. So really cool pop. Again, it's Marvel, so I'm so happy to get this added to my collection. Next up, we've got the 
glow in the dark hot topic exclusive uh civil warrior from contest of champions now this one's a little different from the other ones because this one's uh green and gold so this is the um the hydra colors from when he uh, turned in the uh in the comics um so really cool pop it's another captain america one so i'm glad just gonna keep piling on my captain america collection because uh, captain america is my favorite Next up, we've got da, 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 Superman. So we got the classic Superman, which is the uh, Christopher Reeves looking Superman, which I love the Christopher Reeves Supermans. Those are my favorite. Those will always be my favorite because I loved Christopher Reeves as Superman. He, you know, even though he 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 set the standard of Superman in my opinion. So I don't care what anybody says. This was the uh, from a, one of the DC Legion of uh, Collectors boxes. So. Again, really cool to have this. Um, I definitely love Superman. Again, also one of my favorites. So, added to the Superman collection. Next up, we've got... Oh, snap! Pickle Rick! We got Pickle Rick with the laser this time. So, um, I had to pre-order this one. This one, I don't think, has hit stores yet. So, really cool. I like it with the laser. Um, again, it goes back to the whole Pickle Rick episode where he's fighting uh, Jaguar, and it's kind of like a bad spinoff on um, Die Hard, but really cool episode. So, I'm Pickle Rick. Hey, Morty, roll me over. I turned myself into a pickle. <laughs> Next up, we've got Hulk from the first Avengers movie. Um, like I've said in previous videos, um, I'm trying to track these down. So, I've got Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and now I have Hulk. Um, I'm missing Nick Fury, so anybody out there who watches this or anybody in the Facebook group, um, if you have Nick Fury, please hit me up. I would love to uh, try to make a trade for him so I can complete this set. So, again, really cool piece. I'm glad I was able to get my hands from the, on the Hulk. So, goes along with the rest of the Avengers series that I'm uh, running down. And now for my... Da, 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 da. Waffle win of the week. We've got DC Flash Metallic Chase. This is another one of my epic waffle wins. Uh, really cool. I'm building on this series. So now I have Batman, Superman, and The Flash. Um, I do need Wonder Woman and Green Lantern. Um, Wonder Woman is a little bit more reasonable for me to try to get where Green Lantern is astronomical. Um, so, or the rarity of it is definitely going to be hard to find, but I'm really happy I got the Flash. I love the Flash. Um, this one was really cool. I'm glad I won this one. Um, yeah, so, uh, so that's it. So that ends my pickups of the week. All right, everybody, and those were my pickups for the week, and that also wraps up our show for this week. So if you like what you saw, please click the like button. If you're new, please click subscribe. You can always follow all of our content at mcecentral.com. You can check out Off the Reel, The Collecting News, and Marvelous Statues. And then you can also follow us on Facebook on the What's Popping Facebook group page. Um, we've got over a little bit over 100, uh, 100 members in the group now, so we're still trying to get that number up to 200 so we can go ahead and do that special giveaway. So until next time, that's what's popping.